Yeah, you've been waiting for this, weren't you? Long story short, I got my hands on it. I would have gotten my hands on it on the release date, but Deep Silver did not provide me a review copy. It's kind of sad, yes, but the least they could have done was tell me about it sooner. Anyway, what you see right here is Mighty Number no. 9, a game that many of us who backed it up on Kickstarter waited a long time for. Four years, four years, four million dollars, and now people are bashing it like there's no tomorrow. But in truth, I'm going to be playing this game, and I'll be providing my own thoughts on it myself. Why? Because, well, I have to. I have to, at least. And now we're passing through all the menus, or rather the opening stuff. Now it's preparing the initial setup. And I hate it when it has to have gameplay recordings blocked. Why? I only hope Deep Silver doesn't take down my videos if this ever happens. Anyway, this is Mighty Number no. 9, developed by Comcept and International Creates and published by Deep Silver. You know, the guys who did not provide me my review code. It doesn't really matter to begin with. You can actually customize your lives. And you can also increase your lives in main game mode on normal difficulty. I'll stick to two lives, thank you very much. Why? Because I prefer a regular challenge. Anyway, let's get ourselves started. And yeah, we'll be setting up a new game, and we're good to go. It is the present year. Breakthroughs in robotic technology have ushered in a new era of peace and prosperity. Violence is confined to the Battle Coliseum, where robot combatants face off in spectacular duels. Today, the Coliseum walls once again echo with the shouts and cheers of excited fans, when suddenly... So, you just show up not saying anything, huh? This is gonna be a long one, I assure you. System ready? Go! Professor! Ah, back. And functioning normally, it would appear. What on earth has happened? It's chaos everywhere. Well, well, we won't figure it out here. We must make for the laboratory, and quickly! Beck, you forge ahead and clear a secure path. I'll follow and monitor your progress. Yes, sir! I wonder would it kill the guys behind it to actually have link, like, their lips moving with it? Oy vey. Not that I'm complaining about or anything, but I've seen what got an idea of how the game works, so I'll be flying through this rather easily. Once again, the president has declared a countrywide state of emergency. This based on reports of haywire robots rampaging out of control in all 52 states. I'm being told we have a comment from Gregory Graham, CEO of Cherry Dynamics. Cherry Dyne, of course, being the world's leading robot manufacturer. Let's go there now, live. Attention, <laughs> attention. Is this thing on? Oh. <clears throat> My fellow Americans, in this time of crisis, we at Cherry Dine would just like to express that this isn't our fault. It's that Dr. Blackwell. He's the one behind this. Blame him! <clears throat> we at Cherry Dine are doing all we can to help fix the situation. It's Blackwell. Hello, is this thing on? Avi? <clears throat> and now, let's go live to our eye in the sky, Avi, for today's Avi News Traffic Report. Thanks, Avi. As you can see, we've got a few accidents we found on, well, everywhere! Mighty number six! 
What does he think he's doing? Could he be malfunctioning too? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he was malfunctioning. Uh oh. A security bot. And it's out of control, unlike all the others. Beck, there's no other way. You'll need to fight your way through. You can handle this. I know you can. Professor, I. I'll do it. Fine by me. Let's do it. Beck, did you just absorb the cells of a weakened robot? My goodness. Assimilate them? Oh, of course. I designed him with that capability. But I hadn't thought it functional yet. Well, I'm fine by that, and I've gotten the hang of this already. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I'm actually getting the hang of this sort of thing. But unfortunately, this just gets even worse. And look at all the explosions that happened. Heh. <laughs> what I'm doing is basically dashing, and that's the gimmick for what Mighty Number no. 9 is. Nice. Despite the fact that I got hit, which sucks. Ah, oh, great. Looks like I have to head down below. Dr. Sun is calling. Sunda, what's the matter? What's the matter? What the bleeding heck do you think's the matter? Are you okay, Will? Oh, fine. Fine. More or less. And yourself? Less than fine. Much less. These robots gone wild are tearing the place apart. I've sealed myself in the lab, but who knows how long before they break through? Understood. We're already on our way. You can try to hold them off as best you can. Yeah, good idea. While well, I waste my time shooting and dashing and whatnot. Bring it on. Come on. Bring it on. I can do a lot better than this. Bring it on. That's more like it. Now here comes a fate of five. Clear. Yeah, that's what click clear for you. And I make this look ridiculously easy. Wait. There you go. And it takes like a, like three hits and then you should be able to absorb them. If you know what you're doing, you can pretty much speed it through. Like I can, Mike. We have no time to waste. Calculate the fastest possible route to the lab. Dude, I can make this look easy, my friend. Here we go. Nuts. Here we go. And you ruined it. Come on, I wasn't right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, great. Ah, oh, double great. I'm gonna end up dead if I don't do something. Here we go. Here Good, we go. finally. Yeah, like that. I can make it look real simple yet real easy. Here we go. There you go. Nuts. Good thing I don't die. Wait. Ah. Much better. Right. The lab is just ahead. Sonda. Sonda, are you still there? Have the robots torn you to pieces? Oh. Criminy. Tactful as always, William. I'm here, but for Pete's sake, hurry! Yeah, we're on our way. What was that? A demolition unit. How on earth did it manage to get down there? Back, quickly. You must stop it before it destroys the entire laboratory. Noted. Time to do this thing. And it's a round digger. And dodging. Come on, this is actually a pretty easy fight. Chances are, if you're like me, you know exactly what you're supposed to do. Yeah, look at that. It's a joke. And although I'm the kind of person that plays Mega Man, I know my stuff. That was good. And now you also get results depending on how skilled you are. And if you did really good, you'll get some good eggs. There yeah, see that? Hey. And you're in the trophy, Mighty Collector. Not bad. Not bad at all.
Sanda, are you all right? Well, back. Thank goodness. Uh, but where are the other mighty numbers? Well, based on empirical evidence, I believe they might be suffering from this robot affliction that's going around. Crikey! It's like every bot in America went completely nuts all at once! Let me contact my brother at the head office in Tokyo. Maybe he can send help. I'm sorry, Soichiro. Please understand. The Japanese government won't let us intervene until we know the cause of the malfunctions. Hmm. I was afraid of that. But it makes sense. After all, any robots you send to help could be affected as well, making things even worse. Just to confirm, Mr. Sanda, if we can isolate the cause of the robot rampage, you'll send aid? Absolutely, Professor White. Anything we can do. Did you have a plan in mind? Yes. We'll send Beck to track down all his fellow mighty numbers. Great idea! Wait, what? His assimilation ability should filter any irregularities from his siblings' programming. If we can gather and study multiple samples, perhaps we can isolate the cause of the problem. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. The fate of the entire country hangs in the balance. I'll finish reactivating calls so she can provide support. Let's get to it! Professor, I, uh... Not to worry, Beck. This is well within your capabilities. Fair enough. We have our work cut out for us at least. New content in extra mode is here. And we unlock Challenge Solo and the leaderboards. Go ahead and choose your next target. I'll do that, but we're going to be dealing with it in the next part. And we have like a total of like nine different areas. Oil Platform, Waterworks Bureau, Power Plant, Mine, Military Base, Radio Tower, Highway, and Capitol Building. I don't have the one for the uh, Ray Unlocked yet, so I'll have to download that. So either way, next time on Mighty Number no. 9, we'll be starting the Oil Platform stage. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace out.